Okay, so I got two pair of needle nose pliers. One's really old, one's new. Doesn't matter. Um, a seam ripper. And these are the two new planners. I've already taken the um, stuff and taken it out of it and put it off to the side. So this is the one I'm going to do today. And this is another one I'll do later. This is the first one I did once I saw that picture. Um, I have like six of these planners, but I went and bought three more. But anyways, so I can put the mini planner in it. This is one. And this one was $5.99 because um, apparently there was something already wrong with the binder rings. See down here, it had um, it was sticking to the glue or something. The glue was sticking to the, the material or whatever. But it doesn't bother me because I'm going to cover all this up, which I'll do a picture of that later this week when I do it. But um, this is the second mini planner that I bought, mini happy planner. And this is the one I'm going to do today, um, the seam ripper, first thing you're going to do, which I've already done, you're going to take out some thread, excuse my hands, nails are not done, I, I don't tend to do them anymore because I bowl a lot, so they look a little rough, but it'll be alright. But anyways, um, I do this from about there to there with the um, removing the thread. And then I go inside with the um, seam ripper, push down. I don't do anything else but just push down on it to make sure that thread is cut. And then you see I have an opening, which I'll be able to remove the back of the mechanism. Now, okay, you're going to need two of these. And you're going to need two because you're going to need one to hold. There's a little... See that down there in the binder? I mean, in the mechanism. You're going to need, there's a like a cap over top of that when you lift it up. So you're going to need one to hold it and one to pull it to separate it from it. But what I do, since I'm not trying to keep these, they're cheaply made anyways. They're real bendable. Oh, this one must be a little sturdy. Anyways, let's see. Now, if you can see, or probably not as much. Okay, you see that back? There's a gold right there. That's like the cap that's over the silver underneath it. So, what I do is I bend this up like this. Oh, I scratched it. Dang it. And then I get this and hold it. Hold that gold piece. Get the, the bigger. See, now I should be able to pull it a little bit more to separate it from the binder. Oh, man. Oh, no, I didn't. Be careful when you're doing it because you don't want to rip it up out of there. I just kept doing it until it pried itself off. Is it in the shot still? I use a small one. It's hard to do this when I did it. I did it on the bed. It's hard to do it standing up. There. See, I held it. And here. Same thing. Okay. Now, you got those two pieces in there, and they're attached to a piece of metal underneath it. What I did was, 